Today, we're taking over Chelsea, becoming their manager, and attempt to win the Champions League. But it's not me who's going to be managing Chelsea. It's going to be this man. Ted Lasso. They have one season to take this club over, win them the Champions League, so let's go. So let's begin with showing you the Champions League groups in which we're going to have to get through Chelsea down in Group E with AC Milan, Salzburg, and Zagreb. I can't believe Chelsea have done this and gone on and added this man right here, Ted Lasso, into the game. From a TV show to being in FIFA. And here it is, the brand new FIFA 23 career mode. And of course, we have the updated Chelsea squad, so let's begin by telling you how this is going to work. There are only three rules to this video, starting with the first. This is only a one-season in career mode rule number two is we're only allowed to play five games in total the rest must be simulated and then rule number three win the champions league at all costs whatever it takes and i mean whatever it takes and although chelsea have already brought in loads of players we still have 142 million pounds so we can bring in even more okay the first thing i'm planning on doing in this video is getting rid of this terrible five at the back formation it's really bad my plan is to go with a 4-3-3 with one central attacking midfielder one central midfielder and of course one CDM. And before we begin into this, let me know which club you want me to win the Champions League with next. And the majority of you guys watching aren't subscribed, so I'd appreciate it right now. Please hit that subscribe button for more FIFA crew mid videos. All right, let's go. All right, so what's wrong with this team? I truly believe that Chelsea needs someone at that right wing position. So that's my first upgrade. I want to let Mount play Cam. Havertz will go to the bench. We need a right winger. So a player we really wish I could bring in, but I can't because he just joined Manchester United is Anthony. Could go for a bit older, maybe a little bit more proven player, Champions League winner, Marco Asensio. Could even bring Gareth Bale back to the Premier League if we wanted, but I don't think I'm going to go that far. This is only one season. This is a completely unrealistic signing but I'm gonna go for this man. Valued at 46 million pounds, Lionel Messi is old, but since this is one season, would genuinely be the perfect fit. Let's see if we can bring Messi into Chelsea. Into the new negotiations, let's get into this, boys, and let's start. Should I just offer what he's valued for? Because I feel like they're not gonna want more than that since he's so old. Messi obviously should sell for more than this. Ted Lasso, what are we saying? Master negotiator Ted Lasso, let's go. Only in FIFA could you see Ted Lasso signing Lionel Messi. Hey, maybe we'll have a new plot line for Ted Lasso, the actual TV show, and he'll end up bringing Messi in there. Signing complete. Here it is, bro. We actually get to see Messi joining Chelsea. Look at this cutscene. So good. I mean, gotta applaud EA for this amazing addition, and Messi ends up meeting Ted Lasso. This is perfect, man. How freaking cool is this addition? And for some reason, pretty much every time you sign a player, you get to see them running on a treadmill. Very, very random, but it's a cool addition, I guess. Number 15, Lionel Messi, let's go. And the photo shoot before he officially joins. And we get to see what rating they value Messi. And by rating, I mean this rating right here. Every transfer gets a grade. Let's see what they graded us. Here it is. Player overall, we obviously know 90, 92. Has he gone up? I just bought Messi for 46 million pounds and they say it's an F. Are you serious, EA Sports? Is your game broken on the first day? Just as we said, Mason Mount moves to Cam and we now have Messi at right wing. We now have a budget of 82 million which is still gonna be enough to allow us to sign a really solid player i could go and find a few players in this lineup to sell to bring in a little bit more money but i think i'm gonna wait to do that until january i want to give all these guys a chance to make an impact i in the end decided to save my money and simulate up to our first champions league game all right let's get into playing our first game of five remember we can only play five games in total so we have to be careful that we don't waste them all but we also need to play enough to make it to the champions league finals so we have to pick and choose which games to play we're gonna be rocking this starting 11 going into game one Aubameyang's already dropped in rating are you serious EA and we got the pre-match intros these are brand new to the game playing at the San Sierra against AC Milan we got the fans we got the empty stadium let's begin I'm gonna say now one of the best parts about FIFA 23 this year is the match presentation the graphics of the game this year are substantially better gameplay though to be determined this is one of my first games of FIFA 23 let's go all right Mason Mount I see you Let's try to find Messi. Is he through? Is it already 1-0? Okay, I love gameplay in FIFA 23. They, I, this is this is the best FIFA ever made. First goal of the season. First shot of the season comes from none other than Messi. Forgot to change his shirt, though. So he's still wearing kit number 15. That's just... I, I Sorry, Messi. I've disrespected you there. Red chip it to Messi. Did you imagine? Oh, my God. He just whiffed the bicycle kick. Let's see what our boy Raheem the Dream has. Or how about Mount? Should I rip one with Mount? You know what? Why not? You know what? Why not? Mount might be through here. Let's go for the new power shot. Oh, nice block. Oh my God. Look at the new crossing feature. FIFA is so weird this year. I'm not going to lie. Jorginho. Jorginho. He's so bad. Mendy. No, Mendy. 
Did you get been chipped? Oh my god. That is the halftime break, and the score is 1-0. So far for a career mode, I'm actually really liking the gameplay this year. Here you go, Messi. Should I power shot this? Imagine. <laughs> the power shots are so hard to hit right. Rebic might be through here. Mendy, I need you. Come up. Come up, Mendy. Get that ball. No. No. Get back. Get back. No, no, not like this. Mendy. This man is a legend in net. Oh, my God. Mendy. Dude, he's carrying this team. Oh, my God. Is there no one in front of Messi? He's so slow. Messi, he's so slow. No. Power shotting it. You already know I'm power shotting this. Boom. Oh, my God. Ref, blow the whistle. Ref, please. Ref. Oh, my God, Mendy. Clear. Ref. Please, ref. Yes. Come on, boys. Match one of five is complete, and we can count it as a dub. Barely, though. So we pick up three points in our first game, and we have four matches left that we can physically play. Ideally, I'd like to not play another group stage game. So my plan for the remaining matches is to simulate as many as possible, unless it gets close towards the end of the group stage in these final matches. Then, of course, we'll have to play them to ensure we make it out. So into the second match, where we are taking on RB Salzburg. As you guys know, for simulating, we have the option to quick sim it or watch it simulate out until we need to physically simulate it and watch it play out. We'll just do the quick simulation. So RSB Salzburg should be an easy win, and it is. Aubameyang gets a goal, and Aubameyang gets two. We need as many dubs as possible here so we don't have to play any more group stage games. Third group stage match, we're coming up against Dynamo Zagreb. They currently have three points. Halfway through the group stage, and it's looking like we should make it out no problem. Fingers crossed, though. You never know what can happen in the Champions League. And although I'm not playing any Premier League matches, we will keep an eye on it. Manchester United, Man City, and then Chelsea in third. We're only behind by three points. Here we go back to back Champions League games against Zagreb. I would go on and say that if this match is a win, we are completely out of the group and don't have to worry anymore. 3 3. Oh my gosh. And they nearly won. They missed a penalty in the 88th minute. Of course, Chelsea are going to find a way to make this interesting. So, with two games remaining, we actually should be good. We have the potential to tie Dynamo Zagreb on points here if we lose both and they win both, but I don't think that's going to happen. Before we get into our next game, the January transfer window is approaching. So, I want to take a look at this team and figure out which positions we should probably upgrade. I really do think our attack is good. Although, Aubameyang is shrinking in overall. I wouldn't mind a true solid super high rated striker. We might make that happen. Thiago Silva also dropping in rating. And so is Espili Cueta. What are the other center? Oh, we have Fofana. I feel like he probably will start most of the games for me. I don't know. I'm not too worried about center back. Yo, could Ronaldo potentially be an option here? Honestly, we might end up doing it. Wait and see if that actually happens. Here we go, AC Milan, as long as you get a point. We just need a point and we're guaranteed to go through. Would like to go through top of the group though. So a win would be nice. Is that too much to ask for? Okay, a draw. I think we're good. Looking at the group, I think even if you lose this game, as long as the goal differential sways our way, we're going to finish top. It's against RB Salzburg. Easy win. I basically started the same 11 for the entire group stage matches. It is a win. And Chelsea will be going through to the knockout round. Let's now send to January 1st and make some signings before we begin the knockouts. All right, so January 1st, we have somehow gone up to 93 million in current budget. Oh my gosh, do I go for another? though let's look at him yo i'm so basic bringing in messi and ronaldo but let's see hold up how much is he valued bro asking price is 49 mil we could bring ronaldo in and someone else as well we need better negotiation skills this time they'll still probably give me an f because ronaldo is so freaking old okay you know what if they if they want us to get a better deal we're gonna go 40 mil they want chill well i might actually take this if i accept this we'll still have uh, we'll have 87 mil left you know what done deal done ronaldo for chill well and 7 million what is that? There it is. Ronaldo finally getting what he wants. He is joining a new team. He's leaving Manchester United. Ted Lasso is the greatest manager of all time. He somehow figured out a way to bring both Messi and Ronaldo into Chelsea. What? And they've given him 25. Great. I need to go in and change these numbers ASAP. He actually, I'm not going to lie, looks really, really good in that Chelsea kit. All right, we gave up show while we have 7.9 mil. What are you going to give me? F. They said stronger negotiation skills could have saved you 13 mil on this deal. Okay, you know what? Is it... It's Ronaldo, man. All right, sorry, Aubameyang. You're going to be bumped to the bench. We now have Ronaldo. We have Messi. We have Sterling. We have Mason Mount. This team is ready to win the Champions League at all costs. And we still have 81 million left to spend. We have room to bring in one more insane player. Looking at this team management, I low-key feel like we should do this. Jorginho, you're, you're solid. Let's bring in an insane central midfielder. This man is valued at 115 million. But it's Pedri, one of the best wonder kids in the world. But if we give up Jorginho to get in? Ted Lasso, this is your toughest negotiation 
negotiation yet. Jorginho, I don't even know if it's going to be enough. This could be disrespectful. They might end up leaving 75 million plus Jorginho. Come on, man. If we can get Pedri, they want 128 plus Jorginho. Oh my God. This might be one where I have to give up Kai Havertz. Is it even worth it at this point? Kai Havertz, 64 million. Dude, this is a huge offer. Oh my God. I don't, what are they going to do? I want even more. 91 million in Kai Havertz? I got to go. I got I to keep pushing back. We have to be persistent here, Ted Lasso. They've done it. 73 million plus Kai Havertz. We've just signed Pedri. What up? No, no, no. They said they're going to take some time to think about it. Seriously? Yes, come on. They've accepted. Is this a good move? Was Kai Havertz too much to give up? Would Jorginho have been fine? I, I don't know. As long as we have enough for the contracts, let's make sure we nail this. You know what? We're not going to be spending anymore. So we're going to give him a pretty decent contract here. 200K a week. They accept. I mean, what a career mode, man. Pedri. He doesn't get the same warm welcome that Messi and Ronaldo did. He doesn't even get the respect to have Ted Lasso come meet him. Oh, here he is. And he's busy on his phone, bro. Is this really how we're going to treat Pedri as we bring... Ted Lasso didn't even care, bro. The disrespect towards one of the best wonder kids in the world, man. Oh, God. Okay. This rating, I feel like they're going to give us a terrible one since we had to give up Kai Havertz. Is it an F? Oh, it's an A. Yo, let's go. I love it. Okay, finally. It's funny that we got an A here because I feel like this was the worst signing of all of them. What would you guys truly rate my signings? A to F, Messi, Ronaldo, and Pedri. I would say it's it's at least it's at least a B plus, right? We have four games left to play and win the Champions League, and here's how we're gonna do it. Stuff we have to hope that Mason Mount doesn't get injured. Because if he does, we don't have a true cam. If for some reason he does get injured, though, we'll move Messi back to cam and probably play Pulisic at right wing again. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Thiago Silva, 46 pace, bro. I'm sorry, you may be high rated, but Fofana and Koulibaly are gonna be our two center backs for the rest of the season. So we have January 31st. Before we move on to the Champions League, let's see the biggest signings of the transfer window. I'm gonna be surprised if we don't have the biggest signings of them all. Okay, yes, the Kai Havertz move was number one. Bellingham to United. Oh my goodness. Verratti to Dortmund. Hernandez to Barca. Gakpo to Man City. Yo, there's actually a lot of big moves. Wow, Man City making a lot of moves. Damn. Damn, boys. Look at all of these. Obviously, Ronaldo. Declan Rice to enter. All right, career mode is getting interesting this year, man. When I click this button right here, we are going to find out who our round of 16 Champions League matchup is. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Barcelona. No, oh, man. We won the group and we have to face Barca? Oh, I completely forgot they're in the same group as Bayern Munich. That's like the worst one we could have gotten. So since we only have four games left to play, we can't possibly play every single game the rest of the way out. I think the smartest way to do this is for leg one, we simulate, and then leg two, hopefully we're either in the lead or we'll have to make a comeback. This is leg one, this is simulated, 2-1 win. Okay, no, no matter what, we can't risk it, we're gonna play the next leg. I'm not simming, we are gonna do playable highlights. Meaning we're not gonna be playing the full game, but the match will throw us into the best moments to either defend, attack. Here's chance one. Oh gosh, Barcelona. I, you know what? I don't even know what difficulty this is on, boys. Did anyone see in the lobby? I hope it's at least on world class. Clear that. Come on, let's go. Barcelona solo run. Okay. Jeez, Chelsea's just defending for their life here. This is actually so cool. Oh no, I missed the tag with Gorilla. It's offside. What are we saying here? Defend Fofana. That's all we have to do. This is not on world class, is it? Barca attacking again. And all you have to do is make the tackle and it goes to the next play. Oh, and we have a solo run here. It looks like it was Sterling and there's no one in front of us. Have they really made it this easy? Hold up. This is going to be the, the easiest goal of my life. Sweat. Boom. Cristiano. Soon. He jumped the result and ended up winning 2-1. Oh, you guys probably know the answer to this. This is my first time playing career mode in the new FIFA this year. What is, what is it set default to? Oh, it's world class. Okay. Okay. I thought for some reason that was professional. Let's bump that up to legendary. Here is a Premier League update. Chelsea's actually towards the top with City and United is somehow top of the table. All right. So when I click this button right here in the calendar, we're going to find out who we're playing next. Madrid. <laughs> it's just laughable at this point. We come up against like two of the best teams. They're the same system that we did for the Barca series where we sim the first game and do playable highlights for the second game. Here's log one. One to win. Okay. That is amazing. Also to update the team for the next match. Well, everyone's pretty much trending up, so there's no need to take anyone out except Reese James, who's picked up a red card. Playable highlights for the second leg, and we're only going to do attacking plays here. This has made things interesting because if we can see, I have I have no choice in if we can see goals or not. It's all up to the computer. All right, play one, 43rd minute, Chelsea counterattack. As soon as we give up the ball, I believe the play just stops. All right, and this is finally on legendary. Here we go. Raheem the Dream. Get it to Ronaldo. Go for it, Raheem. You see, as soon as you lose it, it's over. Crossing opportunity, 58th minute. 
run it. Oh, it's my first touch with Pedri since we signed him. Oh, he feels so slow. I love how they said crossing opportunity, and I'm immediately just not crossing the ball. Ponte, hold up. What have I just done? Under attack, 72nd minute. We're still... No, Real Madrid scored. Video could end here, boys. I need... Why did I do attacking plays only? Go for it, Sterling. Is he onside? Ronaldo? Sterling! Header! Let's go! Come on, Sterling! Yeah, gritty. <laughs> The gritty is in FIFA. Let's go. Counterattack. Back on it. One more goal and this should be over. Wait, Sterling. Please. No, don't get outpaced by Juan Basaka. What's he doing on Madrid? 90th minute, GG. I love these playable highlights. Honestly, one of the best features in career mode this year. So we're moving on to the Champions League to the semifinals. When I click the calendar right here, we're going to see who we play next. If this is someone really good, I'm going to be mad. 3, 2, 1, PSG. <laughs> Are you serious? Funny at this point, man. So as it sits, we're in the semifinals, and I only have two games remaining to play. Okay, right. Tactics going into the next match. Good news. Pedri up to a 97. Ronaldo, though, down to an 88 overall so we did steal Messi from PSG he is returning you guys know how this works first game quick sin come on we need a big win here 2-1 okay we're gonna have to come back in this one all right boys I need everyone to listen up this could be our final game Conte focus this could be our final game get ready to go to war and get a win playable highlights attacking plays only let's run it all right it could be our final game or it could be our second to last game if we make it to the champions league final first chance of the game corner kick let's send this one in i, I see I see koulibaly oh i see mason mount hold up Messi's still on it send it top of the box i bang this with pedri pedri oh what a save free kick i might go for goal here oh it's Messi. do i give it to Messi or ronaldo comparing stats they're both pretty even but Messi's free kick accuracy is more so we're going with him three bars Two and a half bars of power. Is this going to be enough? Oh my God. So close, Messi. Solo run. Wait, hold on. If I lay this off to Messi, he's through. What a ball. Should I cross to Ronaldo? That was so dumb. And PSG have scored. Check the score in the top corner. We have to score two to get this thing level. 85th minute, boys. No. Can we get two goals? Here we go. This has to go in. And we'll see if we get one more chance after this. Messi, good cutback. Pass that in. Ronaldo, give me a Sui. Come on. We can do this. We can do this, boys. Please don't say that's the last chance. No. 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 <laughs> that's it. We go to the end of the season June 1st. Let's see how things finished. Surprisingly, Chelsea actually went on to win the Premier League. FA Cup goes to West Ham United. And Liverpool wins the Champions League. This is our final team for Chelsea. Here are all the ratings. And our top goal scorer, Lionel Messi with 25 goals. Aubameyang with 23. And Ronaldo with 21. I want to turn this into a series. So let me know which team I should win the Champions League with next in FIFA 22. Click to watch another FIFA 22 video. And we'll see you guys later. Peace.